Hey guys, it's Stephanie, and today I'm going to show you how to leverage Google Sheets to delegate and assign different tasks to people on your team. So right here, my example is different salespeople and the different customers I want them to contact. So the purpose of this tutorial is to maintain all the information on one spreadsheet, but have it so that the spreadsheets that Drake, John, Sarah are, are tailored to them so that they're only seeing their contacts. So we're going to start off, um, you're gonna upload your information. Hopefully you have a lot more than this. So it's very simple. What we're going to do is once we have our main spreadsheet with all the information, we're going to create another spreadsheet and new spreadsheet. I'm not going to click that since I've already gone ahead and created a spreadsheet. Now you're going to notice this formula here. This is what's going to import the information from your master spreadsheet and wherever it sees Drake, it's going to pull all of that information. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy, I'm going to paste that in A1. Oh, I think there's a space here. And what I'm gonna do is I will provide this formula in the description of the video, so you can just copy and paste that yourself. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and click enter. These are just placeholders right here. So once we fill this in, then we'll be able to connect. So let's, let's go ahead and fill these in. So URL, we're gonna go back to the master sheet. It's asking where do you want me to go for this information. I want you to go to this master sheet. So I'm gonna go here in the URL and I'm gonna copy and then I'm gonna go back here. Make sure that you're within the quotation marks and you're gonna paste it, paste that URL right there. Okay, so once you paste that, now you have to specify, okay, I get you want this spreadsheet, but your spreadsheet has different tabs. Where do I find this information? Well, you're gonna find it in the master. So, while this formula does not specify, it only gives the cell range, uh, we're gonna go ahead and type right within the quotation marks, and we're going to write master, exclamation point, and then we're gonna specify A1, this is A1 to E5. This is the very specific area where we can find this information to pull. So E5, we're going to go back here, delete that and write E5. Okay, so we got that part. Now the next part, we're going to just scroll over and this formula already has column three in there. Uh, you're gonna go back, and so now what this, this part of the formula is asking is, now, I, now that I know where your information's coming from, how do you want me to sort this? What do you want me to pull? Select all where, and it's saying column three. So if we go back to the master, we look between A1 and E5, uh, column three is C. We, we're asking it to look in this area. We do not want it looking here. We want it looking for everywhere that Drake is. So we're gonna go back here and we're going to take out the three and put a one. Drake can be found in column one. And it says equals yes. Let me just, there we go. Now that's just a placeholder, but we're going to replace that with Drake's name. Okay, so that should satisfy everything. We're gonna go ahead and hit enter. You see it loading, that's a great sign. However, there's still an error, and that's initially what I thought was happening, but I forgot that we did not give it the information it needed. So if we hover over, we can see that it needs to connect the sheets. Google Sheets is going to make sure that you're okay with allowing access. So you're gonna go ahead and allow access. And there you go. 
it went right here and it pulled Drake's information. Now, if you want to test this out and just see how it does, if I add a new entry, okay, there won't be two Dwight Schrute's because we've specified that the information ends at E5. If I delete the five and just say everything in E, up to E, it will pull everything. So that's just a quick little tip there. But as you can see, it's very simple. And what you can go ahead and do is you can share the spreadsheet with Drake. You know, put some permissions on it. And this way, you know, he's just seeing the contact information that's pertinent to him. So I hope this was helpful. There's many, many different ways of doing this. This program, the software is very similar to Excel. So it's very exciting that it's something that Google offers for free. So feel free to make suggestions in the comments. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in.